a secret hidden base that no one will ever, ever find, except for the fact that it's made like a blooming great big Santa Claus. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. And today, we're going to do something just a little bit daft. It is Christmas time, 2017, so we're going to make something just a little bit seasonal. And I thought, well, everybody makes a snowman, and everybody does that kind of stuff. So we're going to make a base, or at least the entrance to a base, but that is really, really Christmassy. And we're going to do it, can you see behind this lovely, lovely big rock, we're going to do it in that cliff face it's going to be a Christmassy opening to a entrance to a base whatever you want it to be it could be a base for you to live or it could be a base for you to just lob snowballs at people because that's what you do at Christmas let's get right on with it this could get a bit complicated and you might want to kind of adapt it the way you want to but if you follow it roughly you'll probably do all right so the first thing you've got to do is clear yourself a little bit of room, which is what I've done there. I've got myself just a tilly bit of room there. And you need to decide where the middle is going to be. Let me just get these out of my way because they're just irritating me. This water is sort of in the way, but I'm going to leave it. It doesn't really matter. So decide where the middle is going to be and come forwards with it. And what you want to do is you want to get four white blocks across the centre. So one, two, three and whoops not there i've fallen in the water i said it was going to get in the way didn't i so four white blocks across the center and that is going to act as the kind of the base the middle bit of our um, base and we're going to come up with another four blocks like that and then the next row we're going to put in two extra blocks either side and you notice we're coming up in a stepping motion and we're going to build that out a little bit more and make it a little bit more two-dimensional in just a minute and then we're going to come up again with another two blocks like that so yes it's steppy that doesn't matter at the moment it is meant to be steppy then in the next row we're going to come up another two out like that so you can see we're coming out to oh i've not done it on that side another two out like that and we want to fill in that side that's quite important that we fill that side in as well okay so we've got two up like that and then we're going to fill just one more with two up the same width that we've got don't worry about these gaps behind these gaps behind are not important so I can come around here and we're gonna get there 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 and there now this does look a little bit uniform in terms of its color at the moment and we're going to address that too we're going to make it a little bit more textured in just a moment but for now that is exactly what it is we want so we've got our first row we've got our second row we've got our third row the next row we want to just come out one more so like that come across fill it in and like that and then we're just going to get that row in like that so we're making what's effectively the outline of a bit of a beard now who is it at christmas has a bit of a beard do you think hmm so many potential options aren't there no not really it's not rudolph is it let's face it so we're going to carry on and make this beard just a little bit fuller so we've got three up there then we're going to come out one more this way you can say this is a bit block by block but we are going to fill it in a little bit quicker as we go along because otherwise it's going to get a very very long video then we're going to come up one two three and on this side we're going to come up one two three like that so we've got four on that side on the outside edge of that we're going to come out one more again on both sides so it's relatively um, you can see that it's, it's quite symmetrical in its shape right now. So then we need to decide how far up and around are we going to make this. So what I want to do here, we've got three high um, for this particular bit of wall. Now we need to texture it a little bit more and then we're going to come up two high, or two more high if you like, on this row. There we go. So that's that bit. And then in the very centre again, level with the centre here, we're going to come up and we're going to change our colour. We're going to put a colour in the centre that you wouldn't expect. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. That is a really, really vibrant red. I absolutely love it. And then we're going to put another two right there. Now, we may be moving these in a little bit. You just have to wait and see. And then we're going to leave this bit open. And the rest of this, or we're not leaving this bit open, sorry. This bit gets coloured in, but we're not colouring in 
that bit you can see we've used a different block what we've used here is the block of quartz because we need to start bringing in a little bit of texture i'm a little bit worried that we've got um, basically no texture whatsoever in this build so we're going to bring this up fairly free form with some extra quartz because it's also really nice white leaving the outside shape of the um, the concrete like that so we've got a beard that's sort of starting to look a little bit like that so let's bring this in a little bit more as well like that so the beard is starting to take shape and we're going to continue to make it take shape as we go but we need to carry on with more white concrete now and what we're going to do here on where this jutty out bit is we're going to come up three so one two three we're going to do the same on the other side one two and three and then we've got to come out three so three like that and then on this side we're going to come out three like that this is quite a big build so you can see we've got a shape that looks a little bit like that so then we're going to come on the inside and i'm going to use the concrete again and on the second last block of quartz here so a kind of three blocks and then in we're going to fill this in like this and what we're going to start to do now is create the entrance to our base so we've got it comes across effectively from this first red bit it comes across four then it goes up comes across three and then we're going to fill this bit in just one block there and there so you can see we're starting to create a bit of a smiley mouth shape and that is precisely precisely what it is we are trying to achieve let's get another block on there another block on there and I think that's starting to come along very very nicely so we've come out three here one two actually realize I've come out one too many it only needs to be two and then come up once and then come up once so we come off up two come up one out one like that I couldn't lose I couldn't find my buttons for a minute then so we're up and out like that so the shape is really starting to come together so now we quite kind of want to free flow it a little bit um, so build whatever shape you think is about right for the outside of a build now I think coming out one more and then up two one more and then up two is about right I think that looks quite good to fill in a nice fat face and what we're trying to achieve here is a really really fat face and then we're going to try and create the rest of this shape here so we've got three up that way we're going to come across down so we've got kind of that smiley face a little bit there then that's going to come out two so we've got one two blocks there and then we need an air gap there so we've got another block there an air gap there and then come out two you can see that's starting to come together there beautifully and then above the middle two red bits here we're going to have two coming across that should be directly above those red bits and then we're just going to bring exactly the same shape down on this side as well so we've got one two three down again across two and that middle one bring one down bring that across and bring that down like that so we are not quite there with that that's because it should have been two there up and across like that so that shape there is basically the mouth of the character that we are going to be making today so then we're going to basically just build this up and around a little bit more so up up and over like that just to give it a little bit more thickness and you can see now that we're getting what looks like a fairly bushy beard and again we're going to give this a little bit more texture as we build it up as we go and then we're going to come around here so if you can imagine that is the top of the moustache right there in fact we're going to make that just a little bit more bushy by coming here like that and we need to lose that block there got to remember you're going to try and make this as symmetrical as you possibly can so there is basically where the nose is going to come so what we're going to get is we're going to get some pink wool pink wool is going to come in the middle two bits again you can see that middle two bits there and then we're going to carry on above it with some more pink wool we're going to go two then out one then out another one on this side out one and then another one we're going to come up one two one two one two and basically make a bit of a red blob or what appears to be a bit of a red blob 
for now. Then we're going to come in one, two, three, four. We're going to do it one more time. And then one, two, one, two. So that is the nose shape or the initial nose shape. Then we're going to get some pink terracotta. I'm going to come across here with two rows of four. And then we're going to put two there. Oh, I can't even shoot. Look, they're two there and two there. So we're starting to build out that nose just a little bit more. And then you've got a choice. You could make it a different color pink if you wanted to, just to give it some depth. Or you could do something else. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put more pink wool as a square like that. And it basically gives a bit of continuity across that nose. So we know here that is level with the nose, which on a head, if you look at your own head, your nose is level with your ear. So we're going to get out here, not quartz, we're going to get some white concrete and we're going to come up four on the outside of that. Down here, one, two, three and four. And then we can start to bring it back in again. Like that. So we've come in one, up two and in one. On this side, we've come in one, up two and in one. So we're building that round shape fairly nicely there. And then on this side, we're just going to come up two more. And that is going to be the end of that bit up two more. Right, then we need a different color wall. We need white wool. And the reason we need white wool now is because we need this to be the fluffy bit. This is the fluffy bit that everybody knows really well on Santa Claus's hat, on Father Christmas's hat. And it's going to come up and across and up two, three and four. Then it's going to come in and up and in and up and in four and then up cross three and we should be getting fairly close to the nose now and then up and across three more and we're just over the middle of that nose so you can see what we've got here is a different white that is bushing out past the um, edge of what will be his face right here. So then on this side, we're going to just repeat the same thing. And what's important is this does not have to be symmetrical because hats are not symmetrical, but it's quite nice to make it similar. So we're going to come up, up two, up, we're going to come around a little bit more this time because his hat is now at a bit of an angle. I'm going to come across, up and across. What you don't want to do is end up too wonky. So I'm just a little bit high on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up there and across and that should quite happily meet that on that side. That's brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Then on this side, we want to come in and then up and then in and then up and create an, an area for the, the fluffy bit to come around. So I'm just going to build what's basically a, a bit of an angle on this. So this is coming around wants to be fairly irregular like that so you can see there we've got the hat shape on a bit of a wonk that which is exactly what it is we're trying to achieve just here then we need to get some um, white uh, concrete because we, again we're looking for hair and we want to come down in the middle of this one and suspend a white block there now what this white block is going to be is a nice bushy eyebrow so we want to come down and across and across like that so we've got one eyebrow there and then on this side again we're going to come down one come across this way down and across and on this side we're going to come down and across and down and i think we've got the makings of some nice eyebrows there you know what i'm just going to come along a bit more because that's a little bit wonky and Santa Claus is going to wonder what's going on with that one. Then we need some white and I'm going to use quartz again for the whites of his eyes. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, and we're just basically going to make a square. It's very little you can do with um, round stuff in Minecraft because Minecraft basically doesn't lend itself very well to round stuff. Everything has got to be a bit of a square. So there's that. And then we're going to put a block of coal because coal is definitely the blackest thing in Minecraft. And that is going to form Father Christmas's eyes. And you can see there, we are starting to take some shape. Now, all we need to do is to pad out using this white concrete, some of this hair at the sides. So what's going to happen is his hair is going to be definitely poking out 
from underneath this and this is his beard and his beard is nice and big and bushy so we want to make sure that we're making the beard as bushy as we possibly can coming down like that and we're going to give it some depth as well in a minute so we've got a nice bushy beard on that side and on this side we want to do exactly the same thing again so we're going to come up and build this out so as we've got plenty of whiteness inside this so you can see here, what we've done is we've lined around that mouth area with a little bit of this pink terracotta and then we've got the pink concrete to fill in the face and we didn't want to go too far with that pink concrete because it can be quite harsh we're going to need to texture that up just a little bit we've also started to put a little bit of depth on this face so the nose has started to get a little bit more depth the cheeks have started to get a little bit more depth and we're trying to create that texture on the mouth as well as you can see there so and we're going to continue to do that with as much as we can with uh, the rest of the rest of the build so we're going to put another layer of this uh, white wool around here which will give an overhang and what that overhang will then create obviously with this um, hair and with the skin is that will allow us to give even more depth sense into this hat because if you're wearing a hat especially like a santa hat it's going to be sticking out past your face it's not going to be flat against your face is it that would be crazy so we want to try and get some of the depth that you would experience in real life obviously we are compromised a little bit in what we can do by the fact that we are using one meter squared blocks which uh, always makes things a little bit more challenging but you know, we're going to keep going anyway and we're going to see what we can't achieve so we're going to go all the way around the outside until we've got there and you see we're starting to get that depth which is quite nice and I'm actually going to bring out this nose one more block I think so we're going to come out I think I'm going to put that there and there then I'm going to bring that around like that like that and like that I can get that in there and there um, I think I'm gonna bring that out one more there I'm gonna get the red terracotta that I used for the nose there and there there and there and then I'm gonna stick some more red wool just to put a bulb on his nose so you can see we're starting to get a nice nose shape there for our mate Santa Claus and we want to continue with this bushiness as well basically we're going to scatter little bits of white concrete in the beard shape not on the outer row though we're going to keep that outer row um, clear because we want the outer row to be basically we want it to be as far back as we can really so this is basically just us giving a little bit of texture using this particular color um, you wouldn't have to do it with this you could use a different color if you wish but I'm using the white quartz because I think it works really really well against the um, concrete shade which is ever so slightly grey if you look at it properly and we come up there and we come up there and we come up there and then we're going to get the concrete again and we're going to fill in the bits that we've not filled in using the quartz and again we're going to try and avoid using the outer row because that outer row is basically the bit that we are furthest from so we don't want that to be uh, sticking out too much let's get rid of that we don't want that I'm going to come around here with all this there we go come down and that's coming out a little bit nicer you can see what we're building here is just a little bit more depth on this model and that's what we're building we're actually building a model rather than a base here so let's get this model completely filled up and you may find that you go over some color blocks like I just did there that's okay it doesn't matter at all so we're just trying to give a little bit of depth and texture to the entire build coming up and around like that so you can see we're getting a lot more depth and it's starting to form up really quite nicely what I am going to do there is I'm going to stick a little bit of um, quartz there and some concrete there just to give that a little bit of width as well so these cheeks are proud of the outer side but we're still going to put a little bit more depth into that as well because you see you lose it if you don't go on that angle you are losing it a little bit so we're going to see what the pink wall looks like on this color here let's see if we can't give that a little bit more how does that look so, so bring that out like that and like that so it's a fairly regular shape there for his cheek I quite like that I think I'm going to do the same on the other side so we're going to make a block of three 
and then put a star shape basically in the middle of each side and that gives us um, some more three dimensionality to his cheeks and then we're going to do just keep going more and more 3D over and over also fill in this hat area and then we'll start on with the next bit so we put quite a lot of texture into this face already we're going to put more in but before we do that you'll notice this is meant to be the entrance and all it does is lead into a blooming great big old now we're not going to be doing the actual base itself but what we are going to do is the entrance to it so we need to build a support frame around the outside of the back of this mouth because that's how you're getting in and it's going to come all the way around to there you can see I've just got to pop that like that and that is now um, the, the shape that we're after and then we need to just build the platform across all the way to the wall now if you'd have, obviously if you'd have put this closer to the mountain you would find you've got less of a platform to make and that's all right as well this is almost a make it up as you go along build so it's not too tricky to um, accommodate exactly what it is you need to accommodate so we're going to get the walls are going to come out like this like that and then on this side we're going to do exactly the same thing and you can see there we are now inside the mouth and we can just hollow this bit out to make it a little bit more even and in a minute we'll give it a little bit more light and that is the perfect kind of hole within which you could build your base so let's just stick ourselves just a little bit of light in there just so as we know where we are so let's get rid of him we're going to stick a little bit of light in there, a little bit of light in there, one in there, and one in there. And there we go. So we've got the necessary aperture for that to go in and create our base. Now we'll talk about the entrance in a minute because what we don't want to do is we don't want to spoil Father Christmas's beard, but we still do need to be able to get in. And at the minute, it's not too easy. But before we do that, there is one obvious thing that's missing on Father Christmas. Can you guess what it is? It is, of course, his lovely red hat. So we're going to come around here and we're going to create a red hat. And we're going to start there. So you can see we've given ourselves plenty of white overlap. And we're basically going to give ourselves just a nice, gentle, flowing... I'm going to stick a bit of red there, actually. You know what? I'm going to stick it a gentle, flowing um, curve across the top of his head. And it sort of doesn't matter how you do this you can do this in whatever shape you want it just needs to be relatively natural looking so we're going to come along and we're going to create a curve that looks like that so it's coming that that way so far so we're happy with that and then it's probably going to start to come down across this way what I want to do is on this side I want to work out where is the hat going to hit so we want the hat what I reckon to hit about that is going to be the edge of the hat right there so we're going to come up it's going to come up and then it's going to come back out again because that's what Father Christmas is at does it comes out and then goes back in again so we've got Father Christmas's hat like that it needs to come out just a little bit more I think it's not quite far enough so we're basically going to line this whole thing up one more out like that and I reckon that is probably far enough for the curve of his hat so what we're now going to do we're going to colour that in and we also obviously need to put a bit of a pom pom on the end of this one here so we're going to come around and make a white ball that's going to come on the end of his hat like that and we may as well do the same on the back just to make it consistent and there we go so we've got a little pom-pom ball there and that needs to be white right there little pom-pom ball like that and now we've got to color in the hat and get it a little bit more textured and we have pretty much finished our Santa Claus. He has come out 
I think not too bad given that he has to be quite blocky. We've put some arms on him so as he can reach out and help you. But what's this? What have we done here? We have blocked out this mouth. Yep, that's right. The mouth is not the entrance. The mouth is simply a window on the world so you can look out on everything you survey. Maybe you're looking out for some reindeer or you're looking out for who is on the naughty list. Let's, before we go and show you the secret entrance, let's show the depth that we've got on this face and I've not gone particularly deep at all I've just put a little bit of depth on there you could do an awful lot more you could also come out the back if you wanted to but I think all in all it doesn't look too shabby but where is this entrance well the entrance couldn't be more simple we are going to run along here and we're going to say that we want to shake Father Christmas's hand because we're running up his arm in through the door and up into the secret base just like that so very simple and that is the end of this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed it and that you decide that you want to make a little father christmas of your own santa claus is waiting for you all that leaves me to ask you is if you've enjoyed the video please do slap that like button it would be really great for you to let me know that it is gone the way that you would like it to have gone and also leave a little comment down below and let me know maybe how you've done it just means I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if you're watching this during the Christmas season. And if you're not, Merry Christmas for the next Christmas that comes along as well. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.